For Complex News, I'm Clara Teku. Today we are here with the Queen Supreme, that is Ava DuVernay. The credits are hella long, but more recently, you are director and co-creator of Pollen in Black and White. That's right. Now on Netflix. How are you doing today? I'm well. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you <laughs> as well. So, so you've lived multiple lives. Start out as a MC. Mm. You also worked in PR. Mm. If it wasn't now writing, directing, producing, what would you be successful and feeling fulfilled at? This is the thing I'm gonna tell you, Claire. I know I'm always gonna have a job. Period. Period. If the, if 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 I was unfortunately, and it's really painful to even think about, in the position of Kaepernick, where someone said you can't do the thing you love, we've decided you can't do it anymore. Period. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. never gonna get paid for it. You're never gonna do it again. Yeah. Imagine. For me, that's film. Someone mm -hmm. said you can't do that anymore. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go do my next job. Yeah. The one I do very well, and that is waitressing. Mm -hmm. I was a waitress for a time, and I was damn good at it. Let me tell you, I could tell the vibe. I could know what you needed and what you, you know, did you want chipper? Did yeah. you want jokes? Did you uh -huh. want sexy? Did you want just here's the plate and let me go? Easy. I had it down. Yeah. And you come home with a roll of cash. Why wouldn't you want a bankroll? This is what I'm telling you. Yes. Okay, that, that <laughs> makes sense. Would you ever go back to rapping? No, I was really, really good. I feel I respect the discipline of being an MC so much mm -hmm. that I think if you cannot do it at a high level, you should not be doing it. It's not a game. How do you get better if you don't? At a time, I was really, I felt like I was really good. Yeah. That's why I never just rhyme off the top or do anything like Cause that. Because I was about to put you on the spot. You know, I we could I, do it. I can. We could do it. But will I is the question. So we'll dive into the reason why you're here. Um, Colin in Black and White just came out on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, Colin is still practicing to be in the league five days a week. How collaborative was he able to be on this project with you and the writer, Michael Starberry? Oh, very, yeah. Michael Starberry let the writer's room, um, and, uh, and he and I collaborated with Colin quite a bit in listening to his stories, mm -hmm. asking him questions, trying to pull out really memories. I mean, it's hard to remember yeah. interesting things from your childhood. A few of us, you know, you're lucky if you can think of four or five big things that happened. Right, mm -hmm. And so we were looking for so much more. So we were really trying to pull that out. And he was wonderful in helping us understand himself, his family, um, his motivations. And he spent a lot of time with us. Yeah. Good. And y'all did a very good job with that. I read that you weren't too familiar with baseball, football, and basketball prior to making this show. I was, I was familiar with basketball. Let me just say this. Yeah. Most women have a type. Mm-hmm. And if you break down the type into types of athletes, let's say. Yeah. Some women like baseball players, mm -hmm. some people. I've always had a basketball preference. Okay. I'm just saying. Yes. So I know a lot about that game. Uh-huh. So you, <laughs> Post, you pay attention. I pay attention and always have paid attention to that game. Uh-huh. Because I like, I enjoy watching those games. Yeah. If I may say so myself. And the players. That is what I mean, my sister. Very much so. That's right. We're here. And so I don't know as much about the other games. Yeah. So what I'm saying is I didn't know a lot about football. Uh -huh. Colin still makes fun of me to this day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know the basics. And baseball. Oh, God. And I, and <laughs> I ask know. that because Jaden, who plays the younger Colin, he wasn't too familiar with the games either. None of them. Was it like boot camp with Colin, yeah. making sure you guys understood it and really portrayed them in the right way? Yeah. or what was It was it? a tall order finding the boy who would play Colin Kaepernick. First of all, you need three things. Someone who kind of favors him. Mm -hmm. um, someone who can actually act, because this kid, as you saw, was in every scene of the show. Yeah. I wanted someone who was an actual kid, not 24, playing 17. Mm -hmm. And also, he had to be able to play three sports. Mm. When we got, um, we found Jaden, he was excellent at all the categories, except that he never played in yeah. sports. Uh, so we put him through a three month boot camp where he had to learn them all, not just learn them all, but learn how to look like he was playing it at a high level. Mm -hmm. um, with Colin Kaepernick reviewing your tapes. Exactly. Every the pressure. Night. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but Jaden was great. He's like, look, if I'm holding my pinky wrong, if I'm holding my body wrong, let me know. Mm -hmm. And Colin did. He gave him notes and he got it now. Y'all did a good job. <laughs> Thanks. Mary Louise Parker and Nick Offerman did such a good job. Like, they did. Being uncomfortable and kind of like white parents of, of a mixed child who just don't know. It's the yeah. scene where she takes Colin to the beauty supply and I she's know. just like, what is this world? And to me, I feel like as black people, I watch the I watch the series and I'm like, oh, these things are obvious. Like these things have been happening to mm -hmm. us. But for white people, what do you want for them to take from this? You know, I, I'm grateful to Mary Louise Parker and Nick Offerman, who really played that kind of uncomfortability so well in the piece. You know, mm -hmm. the parents in this aren't villains. They are, you know, well, many people who love their son, they just are ill prepared to raise a black man. They just don't know what that is. So yeah. they make a lot of mistakes. But I don't go into my things thinking about what white people are going to get out of. 
Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer. Yeah. Because it doesn't occupy space in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I make things based on what I, as a black person and a woman, would want. Yeah. And I just hope that other people find value in it and find something in it. I mean, the reason why this, this uh, show was even created is because Colin took a stand, protested against the national anthem in 2016. Why do you think that was so successful? Do you think it was? I think it, it started a conversation, okay. I feel like, and it made a moment, and it kind of catapulted him from just a player now to an activist. Mm. Do you disagree? You know, yeah, it's a question of how do you measure success? He was protesting police brutality, mm -hmm. so I think success would have been, you know, people being so aware and so activated that we all moved towards a place where poli police brutality was no more. Yeah. Obviously, we're not in that place. Did he raise awareness about it? Yes, but in some ways, that message has been obscured by the identity politics and mm -hmm. all the the distraction that's been put around it. Yeah. And so, you know, it has its place in history. He occupies a singular place in American culture mm -hmm. that's permeated around the world, actually. Mm -hmm. And that is success, but maybe not exactly how he intended. Yeah. And so it's, it's relative. So what are your thoughts on how the NFL has handled things since, like with their partnership with Rock Nation and them now deciding to play the Black National Anthem before games? Uh, no, I'm not, a, I'm not a proponent or a fan of the NFL at all. Yeah. Uh, you know, we just saw emails come out not long ago um, that barely scratches the surface of, you know, really, uh, it's a racist institution. Mm -hmm. I don't think it means that you can't watch the game and enjoy it, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't think that it means that you can't um, support the players. Yeah, so now, outside of Colin in Black and White, and outside of Ava in Black and White, mm -hmm. people at DC Fandom just got a first first look at Naomi mm -hmm. at Frisky W. What was the reception on that? And it was so good. Yes. Was that exciting for you? It's really exciting to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I really care about this project. This is a DC project that we're doing, and it's based on a pretty new uh, comic. Mm -hmm. I think it's a year old, which is not usual that it'll be turned into a TV show. Mm -hmm. but as soon as it came out, I said, I got to do that. And yeah. So DC was kind enough to let me do it. Mm -hmm. And it's about a black teenage girl who discovers that she has identical powers mm. to Superman. Oh, wow. So she's not Supergirl. She's yeah. not related to Superman. Mm -hmm. She starts to discover that she can do everything that Superman can do. Yeah. And she discovers it because she used to, she just is a Superman fan, like Stan, like you would be for a rapper or athlete or whatever. Yeah. Just like Superman. She collects the comics. Mm -hmm. And then she starts to have these powers, and it turns out that she's connected to him in a mysterious way. Mm -hmm. It's good. Okay. Yeah. You stay booked and busy. What are you working on that you were so excited about? Oh, my gosh. We have six shows. I think I'm excited about six shows in six months. Wow. So that's what we're doing. We have Queen Sugar that's on air now. Queen Sugar's in its sixth season. We have Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home just debuted. Uh, it's my first unscripted show, reality show. It's a cultural exchange show on NBC. Uh -huh. Then this, then we just had Colin Draw. Of course. Um, then we have Naomi. Yes. We have DMZ, the two DC pieces. We have um, Cherish the Day, our black romance anthology. So that's six shows, um, and we've got five others in development. Okay. I'm excited about the whole thing, because who gets to do all this? You do. I do. Yes, that's I'm, so amazing. I'm happy about that. Ava, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for kicking it with us. Thank you so much for chatting with thank me. I appreciate so much. you. I love the interview. Thank you, thank you. I You'll be one it. of the things I'm grateful for today. Oh, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Likewise, so you already know. <laughs> I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Colin in Black and White is now streaming on Netflix. Make sure to tune in and make sure to subscribe to Complex News on YouTube and Instagram. For Complex News, I'm Claire Teku.